Way back in the 2011-12 season, and Manchester City were claiming their first Premier League title from their new money era. The first EPL to be decided on goal difference. What a finish that was. Undoubtedly, many young players from that squad were forecasted to go on to big things. Mika Richards, Mario Balotelli, Edin Dzeko, but not all of them wound up in the limelight. Yes, 2012 was a mysterious time, a time where then Liverpool defenders Danny Wilson and John Flanagan were wonder kids. Chelsea had only recently splashed 40 million on Fernando Torres, leaving glum looking Liverpool fans to sit around Anfield listening to this best selling song of the year. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best. Fortunately, though, Torres was like, well, really, really. Now, having simulated FM12 to today's date, we give you this list of players who should be incredible now according to Football Manager 2012. So first up on the list, we have Javier Pastore. Now in real life, there's certainly nothing wrong with Pastore and his career. I mean, who's a slurring YouTube guy to criticize a man who plays for PSG? But in 2011, 2012, Pastore made the big money move from Palermo to PSG for around 40 million. On the game, this would push him towards the level of Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi. Here, in a comparison with the latter, there really isn't much between the two. In fact, in the list of the most valuable players on the game, here he is pushing towards the top five. In real life, he's heavily being linked with a move away from France, having slipped down the pecking order. Top 10 players in the world right now? No thanks. Next up is a player whose name would force shudders down your neck on the old FM games, Ganzo. Touted as one of the brightest wonder kids, the Brazilian would develop into a world beater, the next Ronaldinho when it comes to flair and style. And literally, here he is at AC Milan with 19 for flair. On the game, Ganzo is one of the best attacking midfielders right now in 2017, moving from Santos to Milan immediately in 2012, quickly proving an assist master, may I add, with 19 in his first maiden campaign. In reality, he plays in Spain with Sevilla, brilliant player but at 28 years old his progression has kind of been at slow motion pace and he's hardly going to propel forward now. Similarly, another Brazilian who has flopped more than he has shone, Sandro. You'll remember the holding midfielder for stints at Tottenham, QPR and hell even West Brom on loan. You may have forgot that one. He's now applying his trade in Turkey and hasn't featured in the national team since 2012. While others like Manchester City's Fernandinho and even Barcelona's Paulinho have both proved how essential the deep line playmaker is in the modern game, Sandro has been more of a waste of space. But he's the one who makes it on FM12. 32 million at Chelsea. That's upwards of 30 million in his value compared to Fernandinho on the game. Mamadou Sacco. Reality, Liverpool throwaway and now Crystal Palace centre-back. FM, PSG starter and all-around beast. Look at those stats. 18 marking and composure, 19 influence, 18 balance and strength. What a brute. Nothing like in reality then. Now here's a French midfielder who's really stepped up his game on FM, Jan Mvia. The Lille midfielder is essentially N'Golo Kante to the FM12 game, tearing up the centre of the park for his national team with an outstanding 20 for work rate, 16 marking and 17 passing. He's remained at Lyon and boasts an average rating of 7.5 or more, which was enough for Lyon to pit PSG to the League One title in 2016-17. Back down on the more believable universe though, and not the parallel FM1, Mvia plays for Ruben Kazan in Russia. His loan to permanent move to Sunderland broke down much like his career in general. Sticking with defenders, it's Sevilla fullback Sebastian Corsier. The French defender enjoyed a strong League One campaign before earning his move to Spain, and at 26 years old, we're definitely not saying he can't become one of the best fullbacks around. His development on FM has been significantly more rapid, however. Here, he plays for Manchester City. He's on 135k per week and is valued up towards the 30 mil mark. No need for Mendy or Carl Walker when you have this guy bombing down the line. In fact, if we were to compare him to Mendy, yeah, Koshia absolutely walks it. Every football manager game has a wealth of Brazilians who are set to become the next big thing. I mean, just replay this list so far. Damiao becomes one of the best strikers in the world, along with Pato, but we don't have time to get into that. Bizarrely though, Damiao never heads over to Europe which is exactly what has happened in real life. His goal scoring record over in Brazil is okay, but on FM, he is unstoppable. For seven seasons straight, he scored 26 or more league goals, 
36, 35 and 34 in certain campaigns. Even at international level, he has 21 goals in 45 games. If anyone is going to load up FM12 for a throwback session, Damiao is a must sign. Finally, here's a player who failed to excite the fans at Blackburn Rovers. Ruben Rochina. Rovers thought they had pulled off the coup of the century when they snapped up Rochina from Barcelona B in 2011. Unfortunately, they soon realised that not every Barca player is destined for greatness. In 2014, he tried a couple loan spells abroad in Spain before he signed for Granada and now finds himself at Ruben Kazan, team of the could have beens by the looks of it. On FM12, simulated to right now however, he's back at Barca. The 24 million man was an instant hit in the Premier League, notching double figures for five consecutive seasons and a handful of assists each term too. Back to Barca he went for 25 million. Wow, maybe all of Rovers woes can be followed back to the day they signed Rochina. Perhaps they wouldn't be in League 1 if it wasn't for him. I mean, there's a lot of perhaps here, like perhaps football manager can predict the future, I mean, here's Pochettino as manager of Barcelona. Sorry, Tottenham fans. That does it for HITC Top Corner Gaming. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of our best videos which are on your screen now.